The Storm football team put together a dominant offensive performance and made some plays defensively late in the game to get a big 38-33 win over Loris last week. The test this week, the Luther Norris and Decorah. We're joined now by head coach Matt Jeter. Coach, looking back to that Loris game, big effort on the ground, big game offensively for you guys as a whole. Just assess the game from the coach's perspective. Yeah, great game offensively. Those guys were able to run the ball for over 350 yards. Offensive line did a great job. Receivers did a good job blocking. Running backs, quarterbacks, everybody did their job Saturday. So when you're able to do that uh, over the course of four quarters, run for over 101 plays, and uh, almost have 600 yards of offense, you know, you're able to put some big numbers up and win the football game. 597 total yards was the exact number. And when you talk about 101 plays, we know that's a that's a big number. I can remember being on teams where you, you try to get 80 some. That's a lot. Conceptualize that. What does that mean? Being able to run 101 plays. What's the advantage of that? Yeah, uh, you wear the defense down. You wear the defense down, and I think we had a possession. Uh, 30, over 35 minutes and they had 22 uh, minutes of possession. So you read the defense down a little bit and it kind of tells you that you're, you're able to own them and run the ball and kind of punish them. So, you know, put together 10 and 12 play drives and not one or two play drives. So you're consistently wearing those guys down and in essence taking their will from them. You mentioned the offensive line. How giddy were they after the game? And that's an offensive line's dream to just be able to, to run the ball 65 times, just go downhill and just yes. just own the opposition there. Yeah, and that's what they live for. You know, they don't get many headlines or anything like that. But when you get, when you say 350 yards plus, you know, Cam Bunning had 44 carries and whatnot, you know, so those guys, like, hey, they, they're really excited and proud that they were able to accomplish that on Saturday. And I know we talk about Cam Bunting a lot, but he's the co uh, offensive player of the week in the conference. He's mentioned 44 rushes. Nobody at Simpson has run the ball 44 times in a game since 1998. Uh, that's just something that you don't see a whole lot anymore. No, no, that's, that's Jim Williams era. You know, we're running <laughs> the ball, you know, 75 times a game. So, uh, again, it's a testament to the offense. And, and we needed him to run the ball and pound the, pound the ball, especially in the fourth quarter. You know, with the uh, Lowers was such a dominant team in the fourth quarter, the last three and four weeks, we knew we needed those guys to run the ball like that, and that's kind of what we uh, were able to do for, for the course of four quarters. Talk a lot about the offense. Defensively, got a comfortable, fairly comfortable 38-19 to 19 lead. They score a touchdown, block a punt, return it for a touchdown. All of a sudden, it's a five-point game. But then the defense made, I think, two really key defensive plays at the end of the game two interceptions, uh, and on special teams, the, uh, the pooch punt by your, by your quarterback. I think those are the plays that don't really grab the headlines, but that's really what sealed the win for you. Yeah, I think when you look back, I think, you know, two weeks ago we weren't able to seal the game. So I was really proud of the guys. No one panicked. No one flinched there. They're driving down to take the lead. We get a big pick by Von Perso there. They got the 20-yard line, and the offense runs about three minutes off the clock. And then we execute a pooch punt that puts the ball on the one-yard line, and then we get the pick next with Brendan Holmes. So I was really proud of those guys to really come in and ex execute uh, at that time of the game and meant kind of put the game away. So I'm glad it was on our shoulders at the end of the game, and I'm proud of those guys. Rieger looking, looking for him. Bartlett. Got him, and he's able to snag it. Oh, man. That's a helmet catch. That's a helmet. Oh, man. Right over the back of that guy's helmet. That's a sports center catch. So that moves us ahead to next week. You mentioned you flushed it. Loris is done. We look ahead to Luther, a team that uh, doesn't have the greatest win-loss record at the yes. time, but they always present kind of a unique challenge with the, uh, with the offense that they run. You're taking a long road trip to Decorah. They're going to be wearing their blue uniforms, playing on the blue turf, yeah. combined with the offense they run. What kind of challenges does Luther pose? Yeah. I mean, that's always a challenge for, uh, for any uh, defense. You know, you got to play assignments on football. Uh, the triple option, you know, uh, you got to stop the dive, quarterback, and you stop, stop the pitch. Everybody has a responsibility to take, take care of, and everybody has to do their job and do their 111th on the defensive side of the ball. Um, but we're excited. We're excited. We got blinders on right now. Right now, uh, we're looking right at Luther, excited to go up there. I haven't been as the head football coach here. I haven't been up to the core yet, so I'm excited to go up there and, uh, and play a great, great opponent in the American Rivers Conference. When you talk about preparing for that triple option attack that Luther has, is it just kind of, do you have to kind of wipe the slate clean and just kind of reprogram your guys defensively because it's a completely different ball game, especially for those guys in back? Yeah, yeah, totally different. And you're absolutely right. We do have to reset everything that we do a little bit. And what what I've done, I've I've dealt with option teams over the years as defensive coordinator. And what Coach Hagan and I do, we you know we take the football out of the out of the offense during the week. 
So we're, you know, we're running the option football with, the, with no football, who has the dive, who has the quarterback, who has the pitch. Because I don't want those guys coming back saying, hey, I thought you had the dive, I thought you had the pitch. No, I want everybody tackling the dive, I want somebody tackling the quarterback, I want somebody tackling the pitch. So you're working on that assignment down football. So when you get there on Saturday, you know, you know, everybody feels confident that you're going to get the job done. Now these guys are important week in and week out, but how much more important are the scout team guys, the guys that maybe don't get as much playing time on Saturdays when it comes to helping the varsity guys prepare for an offense like Luther's? Oh, Very important. And it, it took those guys probably a day or two to get, you know, they needed to watch film with us a little bit more this week. And we had to coach them up a little bit more how to run the dive, how to run the option, all that stuff there. So those guys, because you're not going to get a perfect look, but we need to get a pretty exact look for those guys mm -hmm. so we know where our fits are, are key on Saturday. So those guys did a really good job, um, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, and today, or today in, uh, in that. So proud of those guys. Look at the American Rivers Conference right now. Three weeks ago, you've got four teams with one loss. Have you ever seen anything like this No, before? I haven't, no. <laughs> so you're essentially, it's a, it's a playoff game for you yes, sir. from here on out. Yeah. How do you impart that onto your team and make them realize yeah. how important every game is? Yeah, it's. I told you guys on uh, on Monday that it's. Uh, I'm excited for the team. This is something we've been working for for three years to put ourselves in position to play for meaningful games in, in October and November. And uh, I told them, remember, you know, remember year one and two, where we're just trying to get through the season. Now we're playing with meaningful games. It has to mean something. So going up to Luther today, uh, this week means something for our program to to get to one and zero. And that's all we're thinking about right now. I said we need to go 1-0 and in Luther, and we're not even thinking about our next two opponents after that. So we are treating it like a playoff, a meaningful game. So I want the guys to feel a little bit of pressure about going up there and feeling out what's at stake because we control our own destiny right now, and we only control right now what Simpson can do. All right, Coach. It's an exciting time for Storm football. Good luck. Yep, thanks. All right, kickoff's at 1 o'clock on Saturday. You can listen to the game at KNIAKRLS.com where Rick Wilson and Andrew Swadner will have the call.